and off P anchoring for the sport. What I'm going to do is aim to hit the crossbar by getting in the right state of mind at the right time. And my anchor's going to be tucking the Key points to doing the anchoring process are to select a memory which is specific to the action you're going to be doing. So in the case of me hitting the crossbar, in the case of you training an athlete and getting him to attempt to do a technique or a skill, get him to access if possible a memory where they're in the same state of mind, ideally. That said, if they haven't got a similar reference point, then find a resource that's similar. So for example, if it's confidence in the state of mind I want to be in, find the time they're confident ideally in the application of the execution of the skill or technique alternatively find a time they're confident in an area of their life or the nearest thing to confidence to them alternatively find someone who they perceive as being confident doing that action and the other key point is when we are doing the anchoring process is to be able to find the anchor say for example tapping the foot on the floor I want to visualize a time when I was extremely confident in the zone and as soon as I start reliving the experience I tap my foot in a hole for three to five seconds and relive the intensity till I get to about 9.9 .9 on a scale of 1 to 10 then I can release then I can anchor that neurological resource to the tapping of the foot hence placing the ball down tapping the foot striking and achieving the desired the outcome